Welcome to Visual Alchemy. Today, let's talk about rays. A ray is really just a moving point. It has an xy position and a velocity vector. If we add the velocity vector to the position every frame, the point starts moving. If we want to bounce the ray off of a surface, we'll need three different functions. We'll need a collision function that detects when a collision happens, a normal function that calculates the normal vector at the collision point and the reflection function that calculates the new velocity vector after the bounce using the reflection formula. Let's implement this on a simple example of a circle. The collision function of a point in a circle takes the distance between our point and the center of the circle. If the distance is greater or equal to the radius of our circle, it returns true. The normal function takes the vector between our point and the center of the circle and normalizes it. As our point moves around the circle, the normal vector always points at the center. The reflection function just implements the reflection formula we can find online. Luckily, processing has a convenient interface for vector operations. Now, in our draw function, every frame we check if a collision happened. If it has, we get the normal vector and then we update our current velocity using the reflection function. If we let this run, we can see our ray bouncing around the inside of a circle. If we want a whole bunch of rays, we'll have to update a few things. Firstly, instead of having a single position and velocity, we'll use a rays instead. Then, in our setup function, we'll arrange our positions vertically and set the velocity vectors to point to the right. Lastly, in our draw function, instead of checking for a single collision and updating a single velocity, we do it for all of our rays by looping over them. If we let this run, we get something quite beautiful. And if we increase the number of rays, we get this quite satisfying pattern. Doing this for other shapes is quite easy now. All we have to do is find the collision and the normal function online. This is what it looks like in an ellipse. I left out quite a few implementation details of the code in this video. If you want to know more, I put a GitHub gist containing the full code of the example in the description. Try playing around with it yourself and see what you can make. I'd love to see your creations. You can send them to me through my Instagram or TikTok. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.